Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a sparkling elderflower. Now, this cocktail has hints of elderflower and a gorgeous color-changing gin. And you know what? It's going to be spectacular to look at. But let's see if it tastes any good. So let's get into it. Now, this simple five-ingredient shaken cocktail is going to be fantastic. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your shaking glass, slap it on the side here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some mint leaves. Now, you want four or five mint leaves depending on the size, and my lint is kind of looking a little limp. So what we're going to do is we're going to slap it, spank it, wake it up a little bit, and throw it in the glass like so. Now, we're not going to muddle that. And the reason I say that is because you are stronger than the mint. If you muddle it too hard, what happens is you break the chlorophyll and it starts to come out and you start getting a bitter taste to the mint. What you want though is the oily mint from the surface that actually gives you those wonderful aromatic values. Now take your glass and move this over here and grab a lime. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this lime in half like so, and then we're gonna cut off two small skinny little pieces for our garnish and then squeeze in half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Next, we're going to add elderflower liqueur. And this elderflower liqueur is fantastic, floral, it's sweet, AKA bartender's ketchup. And for this, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Beautiful. The next thing we're going to add now is our color changing gin. And for that, I'm using an Empress 1908 gin. This is made out of British Columbia and it contains butterfly pea flower in it, which is the active ingredient that gives us that color change. And for that, what we're going to do is use two ounces or 60 milliliters. This is smelling really, really good. Now, what we are gonna do is we are going to shake this with a little bit of ice. And we're going to shake this for a good solid 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure that your glass is full of ice. And we don't need to shake it super hard because we already have the mint in there and we don't wanna bruise it past belief. Well, let's be honest, once you're shaking it with ice, the mint is gonna get pulverized beyond all belief. So make sure you got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that open with the strength of a thousand limes and it smells so good, it's almost like a flower. And you know what you're gonna do? Grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a rocks glass and we're going to fill this with ice, but for part of our garnish, what we're going to do, and I'll just throw a few cubes in there first, is we're going to put our lime slices just nicely on the edge so that it looks really, really pretty. And that'll give us just something fancy to work with. Something kind of like that. Grab another couple of cubes just in case. And what we'll do is we will fine strain this out because we want to get rid of all of the chunks of mint and little ice chips like so. Oh, oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. However, we are going to finish this off with a little bit of soda. Now I'm using a Canada Dry Soda and I'm using a lemon lime soda. Use whatever you want. If you want to make this a bit more bitter, you could add tonic water. This is where you really highlight and make changes to suit your personal taste. So we'll just add this in like so. Oh, gorgeous. Grab a bit of a spoon and just give this a very, very gentle stir. You don't want to do much with this. You're just mixing everything together. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a little bit of mint, just slap it a bit and slide this in right here like so. And here you have a sparkling elderflower. Let's give it a try. So immediately you can smell that beautiful floral smell. It smells literally just like a flower. Mm, really good. I've spilled some of my soda as I can tell, but you know what? This is fantastic. It's light, it's easy to drink, and you definitely, definitely want to have a bunch of these on a beautiful spring day. What I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make these down in the description down below. 
And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And we'll see you next time.